performance poets, and then there are performance artists, which tend to be more confronted, you know, Karen Finley um, acting out, physical action out on stage. Um, there's much more emphasis on physical action in performance art than there is for, for performance poets. But performance narrative, um, which is closer to what I think I do, um, is, uh, is a kind of live storytelling um, that really uses voice um, in strong, structured ways. I have two or three things I know for sure. It was originally written as a performance, and it was written uh, in conjunction with the photographs that I got when my mother died. A theater that was half round, so on the rounds we did the slides, black and white mostly, of snapshots of my mother that my mother collected over her lifetime. Beginning with pictures of her when she was 11 or 12 years old, um, a picture taken of her when I know she was pregnant with me, but you can't tell. And, um, to my uncles and my cousins, just a, and then all of these photographs of me as you know this radical young lesbian feminist marching in the street, uh, us with a van that we took around the south, or the free Joanne Little, all these great photographs. But I constructed the whole of two or three things I know for sure around those photographs. And then the performance, we flashed the photographs, I did the various texts, and we had musical accompaniment. Uh, the first performance in Camera Works was about uh, 65 minutes, but the audience wouldn't leave, it stayed for two hours, and we had to talk. It was like, we had to talk, we had to process. But this for me is political art, and part of um, the politics of the art, of the art action, is that you have to be present after it. You don't get to run away. And when it's not about being exhausted or being drained, it's about someone telling you something so essential uh, that it becomes a part of the art, um, becomes a part of your life. I know, making a living is one thing, making art is another thing, and changing the world is a thing.